Hello everyone, Alien Volt here, and I am playing Star Wars The Old Republic. And this is a video of your homestead. And because I'm a subscriber, I have early access to this, so I'm actually getting to see this content before a lot of other people. And this is my homestead on Coruscant. Now for my legacy, I actually have a homestead on the Republic side on Coruscant, another one on Droman Koss for the Imperial side. And then because I'm a subscriber, we got gifted um, homesteads on Nar Shadda. There's also one available on Tatooine, but that one's a little bit more expensive and pricey, so I don't know how soon I'll actually be picking that one up. And then this is our gift package that we get um, for actually just being a subscriber and coming here and getting a homestead. And these are basically items that uh, you're going to get to put up on your walls, decorations, things that, you know, you've gotten achievements for, vehicles, companions, other things like that will all be able to be set up in here, including um, pets and stuff that you've collected, which are pretty nice. And right here I'm actually setting up a vendor. Now you can actually change the diagram on to fit different things in here to accommodate what you want to actually put down. So basically the floor plan of how you're going to set this up you can change and alter it any way you want or rather the limitations of what they give you to alter it. I have not been overwhelmingly active in this game for quite some time. In fact, I probably stopped being real active in the game about six months after its release and then just became a very, very casual player. Um, so I'm not going to have a lot of stuff to decorate my homesteads with, but I'm going to have a fair amount. And I'll be able to accumulate a lot more items as I continue to play the game. And if I can actually find a community that... Um, I really like playing with, I'll probably become more active with it. Because I really like this game. It's a lot of fun. Here I get to put in a legacy uh, safe as well, or a bank, and you can put in full-on banks, guild banks, uh, mailboxes, auction houses, pretty much everything you would ever need to go to fleet for you can put in here, outside of quest turn-ins uh, for doing like the daily dungeons. I don't think you can actually get any type of uh, vendors or anything like that for that, but I might be wrong. You might actually be able to get those as well. I don't have them yet. I have planetary turn-ins. Trying to figure out where I want to put this thing at. Not in front of the window, that's for sure. Guess we'll just leave it there for right now. It doesn't look too bad. It's just a little close to the mailbox. So 
So basically what they've done is they've expanded on the your home or your dimension that Rift has had in the game for quite some time now. If you play Rift, it's another MMO. Um, rifted dimensions where you could have several different dimensions and you could get bigger sizes and decorate them with different stuff. But what Star Wars has done is it's actually not only made guild type of dimensions or homesteads um, and ships that you can actually purchase and deck out, but it's also given the fact that you can give key rings out to people. So certain people will have access to your homestead. They can come in and you can set limitations on what you allow them to do, including removing furniture and decorating your homestead. my kids talking in the background is because they're excited watching me uh, decorate my homestead right now. They don't actually get to try this out for another couple of weeks because they're not subscribers. much to decorate. I have a lot of items, but there's there's a lot more space in this place to decorate than I have uh, materials to actually deal with, including different levels you can unlock. So you buy a homestead, you're only getting what you see here, the basic floor plan, which is these three rooms basically in the hallway. But there's multiple levels to this um, that you can actually unlock, but they cost you credits. So, you're going to have to either uh, stock up on some cartel coins with real dollars, or you're going to have to earn a lot of credits in-game to actually unlock the entire homestead. Vendor, vendor, quest, vendor, quest, vendor. 
blast, blast, oh fuck, I have two of these. Yes. Oh, let's pick one up. Different things like in here and stuff. Planetary quests and stuff like that. And here it is, with all the uh, changing options on it. So then it just looks like a regular building, but you've decorated it how you want. You can change the decorations anytime you want. You can pick them up, move them around. Nothing is permanent. It's not working at all. It's broken. You gotta let your mom know here. Here's your pencil button. All right. So what do you think? There's my base. Is pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Alright, this room definitely needs something else. It's pretty bare. Couch would probably work pretty good. Where do we want to position it? Probably right there. I don't know if you can move it further away from the wall or closer to it. That's pretty cool. See, now when you try to access other doors, that's when you actually get the expansion cost. Now, like I said, you can buy them with either cartel coins or actual credits. And the credits aren't really that expensive if you play the game quite often. But the thing that uh, gets expensive is multiple doors. Every time you open up a door, basically, it costs. Now, like this one gives you another room, but the two hallway doors, one on each side, basically lead to the same thing. So realistically, once you open up one of those, they should both be open. You shouldn't have to pay for it twice, but you do. See, now this will end up being like an entertainment room here. It's nice, it's large, and then it gives you access to these back rooms as well. But of course you have to pay to open them all up as well. So it'll definitely be an expensive endeavor. Nothing that's going to be able to be purchased right off the bat unless you have a ton of money. And some people do in the game that play it regularly. Walls are looking a little bare, aren't they? Well, good thing for the decorator. Now, all the bosses you kill and, like, instances, achievements you get, stuff like that for raids, 
this is where this comes into play. So not only can you do lights and things like that, but you get to do trophies. So pictures of your accomplishments, which are actually pretty cool. So you can decorate your wall with the enemies you've vanquished. Nice, right? Alright, I think that's pretty good for right now. I don't know that I have enough different pictures to keep going around the entire room with every square. Let's see, this livens it up. It makes it look a lot better. And as I get more stuff, I'll increase it more. I'll open up more rooms. I'll decorate them. And my homestead will look pretty nice. Alright, well that's going to end this video. Please tune in for more, and I'll see you next time.